I had a pretty good childhood. My parents raised me well. But when I was 15 years old, my parents ran out of me all of a sudden. I was heartbroken and confused. The only way I've ever found love is through my profession. She came to us when she was very young, about 16 I guess. Very young, pretty. She never spent a lot of time on the streets as a kid, but she adjusted well. She was very pretty, our Bianca. Very popular too, until the incident. It happened so fast. Under 24 hours and there are three connected murders. Cassia was lucky not to have died immediately. Who else could it have been but her? This is case number 84C150703 in the matter of Bianca Cantori. Present in the courtroom are the defendant and her attorney, the prosecuting attorney representing Michael Cassio and the probation officer. Tell us, Bianca, where were you the night before the attack? I was at home. And where was Michael Cassio? The subject I found. They never found a knife that day, but Cassia was at her place earlier. Someone pointed Bianca out, said she must have done it, and that was enough. Bianca knew the agreement when we started, as did I, but it wasn't torture for either of us. She was fun to be around, until she wouldn't leave me alone. She was nothing to him, nothing but a whore. Of course, I can't guarantee that she felt the same way. Oh, beware of jealousy, and is the green-eyed monster which mocks on the minute. The evidence is clear, there's no need for further questioning. They didn't even investigate! We found Cassio's handkerchief in her pocket, stained with blood. Fire upon these strong men. This is the fruits of whoring! It was just a business relationship, not some love story. Marry her? What, a customer? She was just a hooker. She meant nothing. 